The holiday season is amongst us and perhaps you have a landscape photographer, friend or family member and you're wondering what the heck to get them. Today in this video I'm going to demystify some potential gifts that you can get for a landscape photographer or yourself. To develop this list, we consulted with BH's expert staff and experienced landscape photographers. We'll cover a wide range of camera gear and accessories that they'll be sure to appreciate. Let's get started. The gear in this video ranges from $10 to $500 and from beginner to expert, but rest assured everything on this list will benefit photographers of any level. Let's start with a few smaller accessories. This simple keychain add-on called the Velo Multi-Tool will save your photographer friend from ruining their keys by screwing on the plate or having to fish for change in their pocket. The Velo Multi-Tool will help photographers secure their base plate to the camera or use the built-in Allen key to tighten the screws on the tripod legs. In addition to that, every photographer needs a good cleaning kit, and the Sensei cleaning kit is fantastic for landscape photographers because it provides all of the tools necessary to clean your gear when out on a shoot. For the photographer friend who does a bunch of international travel, consider getting them a universal travel adapter. It's one of those gifts that has many uses, will be needed for life, and it even has USB ports in case you forget that brick at home. Every photographer needs a good tripod, but landscape photographers are the ones that truly put them to the test. A good option for beginners and intermediate level photographers is the Oban AT3565. It's a lightweight travel tripod with a triple action ball head, a load capacity of 20 pounds, and a maximum height of nearly 63 inches. It also collapses and expands quickly with its twist lock design. You can't always predict the weather, so being prepared for a chance of rain is always a good idea. These dry bags and a waterproof SD card case is a great addition to the camera bag. The dry bag will protect your personal belongings, camera accessories, and anything else you want to throw in here. And the waterproof SD card case can hold up to 26 SD cards, providing a safe and centralized location for all of your SD cards. As another layer of protection for your data while out on a shoot, you can use a Narbox backup solution. It has an SD card port for a one-touch backup solution when out in the field. The best part is you don't even need to bring a laptop along with you. Pair this with the Narbox app and you can do things like organize your files or edit your files when out on a shoot. For the photographer who does a lot of nightscapes, sunrises or sunsets, which is like many of us, you can get a Pelican headlamp. The Pelican headlamp is a great addition to any camera bag for those who are out hiking in the dark and will save a photographer's phone battery and a free hand when out on a shoot. When it comes to powering this entire operation, I think it's safe to say that many landscape photographers may not have immediate access to a nearby power source. That's why getting them a power bank or two may be just the perfect gift. For the photographers who go on multi-day photo excursions or just have a lot of gear to power, the Goal Zero Yeti Power Station may be the perfect solution for you. It has a DC port, USB ports, and an AC port to ensure that you'll be covered when out in the wilderness. For the photographer who's traveling light, the Low Pro Hip Bag may be the perfect solution for you as it holds up to one camera body and multiple camera accessories. For the photographer with a bit more gear, the Shimoda X50 Action Design Backpack may be even better for you because it holds up to two camera bodies and up to six lenses, maybe even a drone depending on the configuration that you have it in. You can also connect a tripod to the sides or the back of the backpack, providing photographers with all of the storage necessary when out in the field. When it comes to shooting in portrait mode, an L bracket may be the perfect solution for doing just that. It helps keep the camera at the center of gravity on the tripod. It's also a really fast solution for switching from portrait mode to landscape mode in a pinch. Landscape photography often requires long exposures, and to do this, we'll need a neutral density filter. This is a neutral density and CPL filter combined, allowing photographers to cut down the amount of light going into the lens, and by rotating the filter, they can adjust the polarization intensity, which will cut out reflective light. Now this one requires a specific size depending on the lens, so you can either ask the photographer that you're purchasing for what lens they have, and then look up the specs on the B&H website, or you can get step down filters and get an 82 millimeter filter. Also when shooting long exposures, many photographers use a shutter release. This helps in avoiding any unwanted camera shake caused by manually actuating the shutter by hand. For the panorama and time-lapse lovers, consider the Syrup Genie 2, which can be placed on a tripod and programmed to take a panorama automatically. It also has a time-lapse and video feature which is completely customizable using the app and the keyframes that it allows you to program. 
As a bonus, for the beginner photographer who's just getting into landscape photography, GoPros can be a great camera as it captures 23 megapixel images. For advanced photographers, they can also get great use out of GoPros if they want to capture their entire photo excursions by mounting a GoPro to a car, to their chest, or even to a clamp mounted to a tree or something. GoPros are one of the most versatile action cameras to have in your camera bag. Last but not least, if your photographer friend has everything I mentioned in this list already, you can never go wrong with the B&H gift card. I hope this list gives some insight into what a landscape photographer might appreciate. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything that you think I missed. I would love to see it. My name is Matt, and thanks for watching.